Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. So today uh, in this video, we are going to talk about uh, Redmi's uh, new launch. So that is Redmi Note 9. So uh, in this video, we are going to talk about its specs and my personal recommendation on this phone. So before going into this video, the uh, like a short story which you have to know is basically Redmi has launched last month Redmi Note 9 uh, Pro and Pro Max so this is its official Redmi Note 9 so uh, this is a small information so let's go into this video about its specs so the first thing which we are going to talk about its primary specs so primary specs in the sense for those people who just know about phones or has no idea about phones but they'll pakka look into these specs and they'll buy phones in social media or anywhere so for those people's first um, this phone comes with 6.53 inches uh, and uh, it comes with 3 GB or 4 GB RAM and talking about its battery it comes in 5020 mAh so this is basically about its primary specs so whereas uh, next we are going to talk about its in-depth specs so in in-depth first uh, you have to know about its display so in this phone the display comes with LCD and plus it is IPS LCD capacity touchscreen display so IPS LCD in the sense it is in plane switching uh, light emitting diode display so basically um, in this uh, smart uh, smartphones market there is basically two displays available so either it might be a motor display or else uh, it might be IPS LCD display so uh, it depends purely on the company's point of view to choose either one of those that is the main thing and if you ask me more difference about these displays a motor will be good good in black so in the sense during night visions and so a motor is good whereas IPS is good for morning visions like if you are taking photos in morning and dawn during those times IPS is so so good so this is basically about its display and the next thing which we which we are going to talk in this uh, line is basically about its resolution so this phone comes with 1080 into 2340 pixel resolution so you can go with full HD plus or 2k videos 1080 so all sorts of things are available in this phone so this is about its display and the next thing which we are going to talk about its display is basically about its aspect ratio so for those people who doesn't know what is aspect ratio uh, a small thing is uh, as I mentioned earlier this phone comes with 6.53 inches it doesn't mean that your screen size is 6.53 inches so your screen size is given by this aspect ratio that's it so uh, here the aspect ratio is 19.5 is to 9 so in the sense your length is 19.5 whereas your breadth is 9 so that is the thing about aspect ratio whereas if you want more information about these things then you have to look for body to screen ratio or screen to body ratio so in, the, in this phone it is basically 84 percentage so in the sense if you take 100 percentage as your phone in that 84 percentage will be your screen whereas your rest 16 will be your display or your curved edges and so so this is basically about its display and the final thing which you have to talk about is display thing is about its ppi so ppi in the sense pixel per inch so uh, have you ever noticed like whenever you are taking photos and you are trying to zoom it out uh, you might notice that the photo may not be clear and there will be a blur image so that is due to this ppi so in this phone the ppi is basically 395 ppi density so uh, it is like okay i can't give you i can't say like this is too much so that is the main thing so this is basically about its display features so the next thing which we are going to talk uh, about redmi note 9 is basically about its processor so in this phone the processor is very very brand new so it is going to be hello g85 uh, processor so this processor is being launched along with redmi note 9 so i uh, like what is see the company has stored openly like uh, this processor will be like a good gaming processor so 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 in the sense if you uh, for those who are interested in gaming uh, this processor will be so good and in addition to that um, uh, the company has told an official statement like this processor will give good uh, like efficiency in battery and whereas irrespective of its uh, the company also added that uh, if you're taking some videos or if you're uh, looking in some videos in YouTube and so the consumption data will be so less but it will try to give you maximum uh, video quality so that is also the statement which is given by the company but what is the main thing is 
we have to wait and uh, we have to see how the phone works and so and then please go for buying this phone that is my personal request and uh, this um, a processor is combined with uh, what to say like 3 GB and 4 GB of RAM and if you want to know more about this processor it comes with two plus six arrangements so two will be your uh, A71 where six will be A55 and so clock um, and so like what is it? it is um, good stuff but what I say like we have to wait and then we have to find it out that is the main thing about its processor side so the next thing which we are going to talk about its camera so here in the rear it comes with quad cam so it is going to be 48 plus 8 plus 2 plus 2 so your 48 will be your primary camera whereas your 8 megapixel will be your ultra wide whereas plus your next 2 megapixel will be your macro like optical zoom and so and followed by your last 2 megapixel will be your depth sensor whereas talking about its selfie so here it comes with a punch hole in top left and it comes with 16 megapixel so this is basically about its camera so the final thing which we are which you need to know here is it has 3.5 mm jack stereo speakers and it doesn't support 5g it supports max to 4g so that is the thing which you have to additionally pakka know and last thing which you have to know is about its battery so here it comes with 5020 mah with 18 watts fast charging but what is the thing is it will take some more time to charge your phone so that is the thing which you have to know and the last thing is about its price so the 3gp with 64 comes around like 14,000, whereas your 4gb um 128 comes around like 18,000. so the price may vary because due to this coronavirus and so last about its uh, colors it comes in gray white black and so so this is about uh, redmi note 9 so the last thing my personal recommendation is if you're interested in gaming please don't go for this phone if you ask me why then here is the right reason for you this phone comes with a refresh rate of 60 hertz so 60 hertz in the sense or if you don't know about refresh rate um, like have you ever noticed like whenever you're playing some games your data will be fast or your Wi-Fi will be so good but still your phone will hang irrespective of good RAM so this is due to this refresh rate so refresh rate in the sense per second your screen will be refreshed again and again so in this phone the refresh rate is 60 hertz so for gamers please go minimum 90 hertz at most 144 120 hertz is available so please go for it for gamers this phone is not a good option whereas for uh, cameras like a social media sensor you can go for this why because 48 megapixel 8 that is a good option so that is my personal request on uh, this redmi note 9 so hope so you like this video if you like it give it a thumbs up so like this content i'll just meet you in the next video so till then peace from k square bye